Hi DIYers, Sterling from Alarm Grid here, and today we're going to show you how to install an L5100 Wi Fi Internet Alarm Communicator into your L5100 Lynx Touch control panel. The Lynx Touch supports three different communication paths phone line, internet, and cellular. And different than the L5000 original Lynx Touch, it can actually do a dual path communication option. So you can do internet and GSM, which is a nice. Uh, a nice feature. Now, if you are going to do internet and GSM, you do have to use the L5100 Wi-Fi instead of the ILP5 internet communicator, and we'll show you why in a second. Very simple installation. All you're going to need is a screwdriver or something to pop the panel open. You have the two tabs along the top. Insert your screwdriver, pop one tab at a time. The panel begins to beep to show that there's a cover tamper. To silence the tamper, all you have to do is press this unlock key. Enter your master code. We have it set default one two three four. Disarmed. Ready to arm. Check system. Chime. And now we can pop the next tab, and the panel swings down. Now, before making any kind of connection here, you do want to power the system down. So we're going to remove our battery and we're going to remove our LT cable, which is our AC power. You can see that the panel is now dead. So, as I said before, the GSM unit, which we have installed, and we have a video showing you how to do that, so you can check that one out, installs on this side right here. This is also the side that the ILP5 hardwired internet communicator would install. So therefore, the L5100 Wi-Fi is the only internet communicator that you can use in addition or along with the GSM unit. To install the L5100 Wi-Fi, it is as simple as locating the edge connector on the right side of the board below the speaker. You have a black port on the L5100 Wi-Fi. You simply insert the circuit board onto the edge connector. Push it, push it down with the black uh, port until it's snug. You can see it fits nicely in there. And you are now ready to uh, close up the panel. Last thing you want to do is power it back up. We always recommend to plug the battery in first, otherwise you may generate a low battery signal. The battery will not power the panel up on its own. It will only hold it up if you lose AC power once it's on. After the battery is on, plug in the LT cable and you can close your L5100. Once it boots back up, you're ready to go, and you simply activate your L5100 Wi-Fi with an AlarmNet dealer so that you can get alarm monitoring services and the optional Total Connect interactive feature. If you have any issues with your L5100 Wi-Fi installation, please give us a call at 888-818-7728. You can also feel free to email us at support at alarmgrid.com.